Hey, federal prosecutors laid out their case over state money paid to Carlita Kilpatrick. So how does this all tie in with the corruption case against her husband? 7 Action News investigator Heather Catalo joins us from the federal court. Good evening, Heather. What happened today? Well, good evening, Diana. The feds have always alleged ever since these charges came down that Kwame Kilpatrick's corruption dates all the way back to his days in Lansing. And that's part of what they were trying to show today. A witness testified today that Carlita Kilpatrick got paid with state grant money for work she never did. The feds introduced evidence today that showed that during his time more than a decade ago as State House Minority Leader, Kwame Kilpatrick arranged for grant money to go to two nonprofits, Bishop Edgar Vann's Vanguard Community Development Corporation and Bobby Ferguson's Detroit 3D. When I found out about the agreement, obviously I had some concerns. Former Vanguard Executive Director Donna Williams says Van told her that Kilpatrick wanted them to hire Carlita for $75,000 with the grant money to teach student conflict resolution. She was paid half of that amount up front. Federal prosecutors asked Williams if any of the students at the struggling Detroit school were ever taught by Carlita, and Williams said no. The defense argued Mrs. Kilpatrick did do some work and tried to grill Williams about her previous grand jury testimony, arguing that it didn't always match up. Williams stood her ground though and said she did not think Carlita earned the $37,500 she was paid. Certainly um, I enjoyed knowing Carlita, working with Carlita. She did some good things and there's some things that remained undone at the end of the contract and I'm sorry about that as well. Meanwhile the feds have alleged that Bobby Ferguson used the state grant money that Kilpatrick obtained to remodel his offices. When federal prosecutors asked former state Senate Majority Leader Dan DeGroo if under the grant rules refurbishing private offices would be appropriate, he said, I can't think of a circumstance where that would qualify. Today, Ferguson's defense team asked to grow if the grant money was used to refurbish a training facility for people to learn employable skills, would that benefit the community? And he said yes. Well, the problem is that you haven't heard all the testimony. What did you hear all of it? Now, the defense is pointing out that there have been other spouses and relatives over the years that have received state money like this. And as you just heard, they're saying you haven't heard all of the information yet. More witnesses are expected to take the stand about this tomorrow. Reporting live at the federal courthouse in downtown Detroit, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.